Mm-hmm. It was just going to the toilet naked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like it was summer. <laughs> it was hot. Okay. It was hot. <laughs> Welcome to the center of the world. Presented by Antoine Lavati. Hello everyone and welcome to that new episode of Welcome to the Center of the World. My guest tonight is Sandra Chubak. Sandra comes from Poland. She's a photographer and now is doing an internship at the, the European Parliament. Yes, How exactly. are you, Sandra? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> In that episode tonight, we're going to talk about the way we met. Yes. True couch surfing. So there will be a lot of couch surfing in that episode. And I think that's going to be <laughs> enough. <laughs> that's going to be enough. And we will see. <laughs> How did we met? Okay. So we met. I actually, I, I wrote you on couch surfing. I found you there. Um, and it was maybe, I don't know how many months ago. I think it was November. Okay. I, I remember receiving a request. Not not a request, but more like just a message. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that become kind of my way for meeting new people when I move around uh, the Europe. I'm just looking on the couchsurfing, the people mm-hmm. with uh, most review. So I see that the, those uh, people are open and, and for sure the experience would be nice. I think I met maybe three person here okay. in Brussels through couchsurfing. Okay. But you were the first one. So I wrote you and you straight away invited me to your home for the dinner. So it was a bit, you know, not dangerous, but it could be, you know, because I didn't (laughs) know you and... uh, and I was going to your fa- uh, flat straight away. Yeah, the idea for me was just like, well, <laughs> if there is food for one, there is food for two. <laughs> exactly. So it was it was pretty cool because when we met, it was straight like straight away. I think yeah. we we got along, right? Yeah. Well, I think that for some reason we have kind of the same mindset about traveling, about living around the world, about interacting with the other people. The thing is that the way we met is like exactly what my life is about. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's about couchsurfing, uh, that website and that application that allows people to connect connect, uh, in a way that there is no money involved. And it's just like, hey, can I stay at your place? Yes. (laughs) So that's, that's like next level connection. Because if you would meet someone, let's say at work, you know, and you just interact with that person and you're like, hey, let's be friends, well, then you will probably do one activity together and then another activity together. And maybe they will probably never reach that level of intimacy in your friendship in yes. a sense that you've never like never stayed at each other's place. But then with cultural thing, it's like we skip that's true. That's all true. those steps <laughs> until we reaching that that level of trust and not being afraid of ourselves. Yes, because yes, yes. you know I, I I must be myself mm-hmm. and just be confident that uh, everything's cool. And then like it just magic. <laughs> No, no, I like I like it as well because as you said, it, you just skip all this uh, awkward part yeah. at the beginning because yeah. you just straight away talk like you know that person for years. Mm-hmm. Like okay, it doesn't happen often. Like it doesn't happen always, but it's nope. uh, but it's happened. And and this is what I like in car surfing. And especially when you are in new in town, this yeah. is so cool because. Uh, in short time, you can you can meet such and you as well know to who you are going because then you have um, each profile on Couchsurfing yeah. has reviews and as well um, your profile needs to be quite full of description, you know. Yeah. So so you can straight away says if I uh, if I have something in common or not with the okay. person. So this is what I like because when I was choosing the the people, I was actually reading if if there is something in common. I personally hosted, I would say, 290 people. Yeah, I saw it. It's I impressive. Got, I got like 200 and something reference for now. The idea for me to do couch surfing was really the idea to help each other. I actually, for the first time, registered to the website in 2009. Mm-hmm. But then I didn't use it until 2015. Mm-hmm. And then I started to use it 
seriously at the end of the fall 2016. Like it really, really took off at say April 2017. Okay. Because when you start to use it for a while, as a host, you will not have a lot of requests. Oh, really? Yeah, no. Hmm. People that has not much reference, they don't really uh, receive requests. I guess that the, the number of reference is like the primal indicators mm-hmm. of people to stay at a place. That's true. They just look at the volume and they're like, 300, yeah, he's a cool guy. And and it starts to get comfortable when you have like something like 10 references. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At 10 references, people are like already super comfortable. And that's what I say to everyone. The most difficult friends to have are the 10 first. <laughs> as, as soon as you have like 10 references, it's just like a system. Yeah. You send requests, people phone to you and so, something, something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, But you started with um, as a host or you started uh, traveling? First, first experience was as a guest. Okay. It was in Montreal. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Okay. (laughs) Uh, I lived in Canada for eight years. Mm -hmm. I I didn't know it was eight years. Yeah, it was eight years. Wow. I I don't know why I thought it was maybe one year. No, 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 no. no. It was a real life experience. It was from my 24th year to my 32nd year. Wow. Why why you decided to come back? I'm not American. Uh, the, the the biggest difference, I guess, it's in the mindset. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess the roughness of the winter can be part of it at some point. Mm-hmm. I guess that my personal story made that it was good for me to go back to Europe. Anyway, what I'm saying is that uh, I, I came to Canada for the reason that I had my first girlfriend. We were together for six years at that time. Wow, long time. Well, actually five years when we decided mm-hmm. to, to, to start that project. And she wanted to have like an American experience, mm-hmm. you know, with like, we have the cabin in the wood, we have the great space. And there were many reasons, other reasons. And did you have it? Uh, <laughs> I had it, okay. but uh, when we were not together. Okay. <laughs> I was finishing a bachelor degree in France, in Toulouse. Okay. And she had that idea and she wanted to apply for a working holiday permit. And for me, I was finishing my bachelor degree, so maybe I could apply for a master there. That's how it started. And then it's uh, eight years later, I'm back in Brussels. Mm. So you finished there your master and you stayed, you had work. Yeah, yes, you've, you've yeah, found the job after. But the couch, couch surfing experience, it was there, right? So yeah, it, it started there. Okay. The, the, the big machinery started there. So I was uh, going to Montreal. I was with my ex fiance there. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was um, visiting me in Canada. And we had that plan to go to Montreal. And we have that, that friends that can always host me in Montreal. Okay. And he couldn't. Okay. His parents were in a post-production of a movie. So they had like a lot of work to do. It's like it was too much stress in the in the house because mm-hmm. they were directing that movie, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And man, we were like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's in two days, and we don't have a plan, and we don't have a, a place to stay. Uh, but couch surfing. But on and at that point, did you have already some references? No. Nope. No. Oh, okay. So I sent as many uh, requests yes. as I could. <laughs> And I got a yes. Mm. And we went there and it was a really great experience in a sense that he saved our life. So the guy wasn't much there. It was great for us because we were young lovers and we were enjoying life and it was good that we were autonome. We just had that experience that my ex fiance, she went to the toilet and uh <laughs> starting good okay and, and then... the guy was there like just go- going back to his bed but he was fully naked. <laughs> So uh, that's how it started. Oh, ah, okay. We left him a good reference. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He was just going to the toilet naked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like it was summer. <laughs> it was hot. Okay. It was hot. <laughs> I don't know. Like uh, I, I checked that he didn't have bad reference and that was all. But no, really, it was a good experience. Okay. Uh, then it's uh, it's a skip to one year later. I'm at a point of my life where I'm going down. Uh, and then I was like, okay, I will start something new. And I wanted to give myself a way to help people and to go to more social interaction. 
Well, I was not disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's how it's done. Yeah, I think that by June 2017, I had like five references. Mm -hmm. And then it was 10, then 16, then... And then from there, it's like it just exponential. It just like, yeah, so now we are like two years and a half later, and it's 205. Oh, it's crazy. That's what it is. It's like, I mean, I, I would say that Couchsurfing really saved me from some situations that were uneasy in my life, mm -hmm. especially in 2017. Uh, the spring 2017 was really rough for me. And uh, having those uh, strangers that are going there and that are going for full human interaction experience in a sense that they open their mind to you, they open their heart to you, they trust you. Wow, it's like, it's really something amazing. And... Uh, um, that's probably why at some point I got addicted to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so from the period of October 2017 till the period of November mm -hmm. 2018, most of nights there were people at, uh, at my place. Even during the week? Even during the week, okay. which is kind of insane. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. When you think about it. But it was my way to cope with the situation mm -hmm. and doing so. I was able to meet the awesomest people possible and to create bonds with those people. Because when I when we talked, when he, we introduced at the beginning the idea that you open your intimacy to other people, it means that you're real and you're honest and you can literally talk about real stuff so you don't have to be shallow and you can have like some good activities like I don't know there are some unique activities that I did with couch surfing that I wouldn't mm -hmm. think I would have done without couch surfing I'm thinking about mainly about music okay. stuff I did that Colors of Ostrava festival ah, yes. in Ostrava yes Czech Republic mm -hmm. there I was hosted uh, during the three nights and it was a girl that was also hosting another guy at some point, uh, Isabella mm -hmm. and uh, Michael and Michael, actually people like he refers to me called Michael. Okay. And we became a family in that space of three days. We were a family and that's something that is unimaginable any, anywhere else that you would meet just like that people. And uh, I went to like several concerts mm -hmm. with Coach Shuffing. I went to No FX concert, which is like an old punk rock band. <laughs> I went to Calibrate concert, which is like American mm -hmm. hip hop guy, really, really nice guy. I went to uh, the guy from, oh my God, the guy with the bird. Ah, that, this one. That, that, <laughs> okay. He has that really raw and dark voice. No. It was, it was part of a band that were doing some a cappella songs. But then he started a solo career. Avi Kaplan. I don't know him. It's like kind of folk, kind of soul. Oh, really? Oh, I yeah. didn't expect that. But you went as well uh, recently to the concert of this Italian guy, Moh... Moh uh, Mahmoud. Mahmoud, yeah. Yes. I went to a Little Sims concert. So it's life experience that you accumulate and accumulate and... I'm got out of the addiction now. I just want to put back in a context that I was suffering from depression mm -hmm. and a way for me to cope with the depression without solving it was to be with people all the time by doing cold surfing. So it was not good because, you know, I was not solving, the, problem, solving yeah. the problems, mm -hmm. but it gave me a lot of other stuff. Mm -hmm. And now I really reduce the frequency of the people I'm hosting. I'm hosting maybe once or two times per week, not more than that, mm -hmm. which is a lot. really <laughs> less than, than, than mm. it, I used to. I know that for people it's, it sounds like a lot, but for me, it's, I just make sure that my apartment is clean and that's pretty much the only thing that I get to do. Mm -hmm. All the rest is just like, you know, I do my, my, my stuff and... Sometimes I'm I'm seeing my friends from Brussels. Sometimes I have coach suffer. In Canada, I was not able to find a good balance between the friends that I was seeing in Canada and 
to people that I was hosting. There was not enough uh, connection with uh, locals. Okay. That made that I was not able to create myself a circle from from mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was doing sort of thing all the time as well uh, because I need my interactions. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Yeah. What was the most like ridiculous couchsurfing experience? Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's okay. keep it for the end of the episode because it's gonna be fun. And and I think that's something that I want to develop also in the podcast. Mm-hmm. That uh, people send questions, you know, or send me suggestions or commenters or say that you like it for something or that you don't like it for something. Because then with all that, I'm able to improve the quality of the podcast and I'm also able, like, if I have enough comments or questions, to make a section about it. You know, at the end of the episode, mm-hmm. we just talk about questions and okay. it's cool okay, and yes. that's it. So um, I, I do it less now, mm-hmm. uh, way less, and it's it's really good. And, uh, well, uh, that's how we met. Yes. That's how we met. And, uh, and then straight away, I think you asked me to stay with your cat for a week, right? It's like such a big trust, you know, because we met, we seen each other by that time maybe twice. Once it was in your dinner and the second time it was on the party at your friend's place. Do you remember? And there was also the dance course. Ah, this amazing dance night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the dance night oh my God. that we were at that, that place and... And the people were so professional. Yes, and we were just there to have fun, and then (laughs) dance to Charleston, and we just look at them, and they were like, "Well, not tonight." (laughs) (laughs) No, but what we dance? Really? Yes. Don't and this is what I'm laughing because it was so ridiculous, you know, because all these people were were looking at us, and you you had no idea. Like I'm I'm not pro at all. But you had no idea what is going on. <laughs> so it was so ridiculous. Oh my god. Can you imagine that it was so awkward that I totally erased it from my memory? <laughs> I remember it. But um, yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> no, because, because the dance is already by itself. It's kind of um, particular, you know? <laughs> so when you when you start to... I don't know. You, you, you ever dance it? No, well, I never well, danced it in so, my life. So you had no idea, and the past, the the steps were coming just from your I don't imagination. Know. <laughs> exactly, it was coming from somewhere else. <laughs> now I remember, uh, yeah. I was creating my own move. <laughs> One day, that guy with no experience yes, exactly. developed a talent, <laughs> but night. it's but it's all in his head. <laughs> Yeah, so it was good. Yeah, so okay, so by that time it was maybe uh, you saw uh, you saw me three times. Yeah, and you straight away, you know, ask me. I mean, like it's a big trust, and this is what I like um, in couch surfing that often people give you the keys to their apartment just based on like intuition, you know. So and it happened to me a few times already um, when I was staying at somebody's place. Uh, and we just met, like, it was its first night, so we were just talking, whatever. And then the people decide, okay, I'm going to work. I will leave you my keys, you know? And they're leaving everything in the apartment. Yeah. So it's such a big trust. And I like it, you know? Because it works on both sides. Yeah, like, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm risking as well, kind of, going to apartment of uh, of stranger, you know? And, and, and you are risking yeah. as well. Like, yeah, yeah, so, totally. And, and, and I like it, you know? I, I like it uh, that, because it shows you totally different side. I think there is kind of lack of trust, you know, in society. So yeah. people are suspicious, like, should I? Like, maybe he will kill me. I don't know. Like, like going to extreme even, you know, the thoughts. And and with couchsurfing, when you compare it to reality, how most of the people are, it's, it's, it looks like extreme, you know? But, but, but it's, it's like um, another word, and I, and I like it. The thing is, and I really, really like the idea of gaining the trust. It's, it's amazing. But then we have to talk about the bad side of culture. Like what? Okay. The thing is that culture thing helps to like connect people with each other and everything. But the problem is that we live in a culture of expectations. Mm-hmm. I'm going to drop the word. We okay. live in a rape culture. Okay. In a culture that thinks that if there is an interaction, then there should be something happening from that interaction. You mean sex or what? 
in most of the case. Mm -hmm. Okay. We live in a society here that is really okay with this kind of idea. The thing is, if the society here tell you that if you have an interaction, you should go for it, mm -hmm. then most of the male have the wrong message. You know, in their mind, they think that interaction should lead to sex. Ah, okay, I get And it. then, mm -hmm. couch surfing is like a media. And we live in a society right now that is disconnected from just the normal social interaction. It's not like, for example, you see someone that you find attractive in the street, and you say, hey, hi, how are you? People don't do that again. Yes, 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 that's true. Mm -hmm. Now, it's so true social media. Mm -hmm. And it's Instagram, it's Facebook, and people text and text and text and text. And the thing happens that Tinder arrived. Mm -hmm. Like, Tinder is the big fuck up in the system. Because in Tinder, it was really matching with people to have sex. Instead of just people meet people like it was before, yes. you know, now it's like you meet people, but you know what will be the end. Tinder creates that reflex of I match with someone. It means that we are going to have it. So for many, many people, and I'm not talking just about couch surfing, I'm also, I'm even also talking about like outdoor sport platform. Mm -hmm. If you, like, if you want, you can connect with other people that do outdoor sport and you can go somewhere running or something mm -hmm. like that. So even on those platform, but couch surfing is like the biggest example. Mm -hmm. Most of the men, like more than 50% of the men that are going, that are using couch surfing are using it with the purpose, with the expectation mm -hmm. to have a sexual interaction with their guest. Maybe it's like more, they don't expect it, but they like leave open door, you know? If it happens, it happens, no? If it happens, it happens, fine. It's not about it can happen or whatever. It's about I'm a person A, a your person B, and we know each other. Mm -hmm. That's what couch surfing is. Yes. Otherwise, if you put the idea that there could be something happening, you know, if it happens, it happens, uh -huh. is a mindset of preparation. <laughs> hmm. You know? Then you're promoting the rap culture. Because that guy that pretends to be a nice guy, but has the idea, oh, I'm doing couch surfing to have sex. Mm -hmm. One day, for some reason, he will be with his guest and they're going to be like super chill, having a nice night and going to a party and drinking some alcohol. And the guest is nothing, doing nothing else than being nice. Like the, the guest is like, he's fine, he's cool. Mm -hmm. But the guy has that little too much of alcohol. Mm -hmm. That he is really like uh, intense and cool, but not necessarily in control of everything he's doing. And then they're gonna go home, and he's gonna rape her. Okay, but you are like making this. Uh, it can happen everywhere. Like, well, like uh, everywhere. If okay. you're going for the blind date or even Tinder or whatever website you are using, it can happen. You know. Yeah, but that's and... the thing. That's the thing. It shouldn't happen on Couchsurfing. I'm telling you. If right now we check the host. Mm -hmm. in in one city more than 50 percent yeah but then you see it they have three references or there are references only for from the oh girls. there is the checklist of the red flags so, so you can check it like straight yeah. away what they're expecting and if and if the girl who's checking the profile she's okay with this she knows what she's going for because maybe she wants to have sex as well but it's like it's it's trading sex for bad no it's just like it can happen when the deal is clear, let's say. You know? Yeah, but then it ruins the magic of life. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry to go there, but it means like it's really a trade. No, no, I'm saying like, okay, we know what the couch surfing is for. Like, okay, to meet people and make experience and so on. But there are people who are using this as a kind of date uh, platform. Which, which shouldn't be. I know. But there are people like this who are using this for this reason. And, and But those people should be reported because one time they will host someone. Who you say it's not expecting this, right? But let's say the girl, she's 
she has this idea of couch surfing. She she's new. She doesn't know exactly, exactly. How, how it works. You exactly. mean in this case, okay. okay and now mm-hmm. I'm gonna be realistic about okay. that, and I'm so sorry about what I'm gonna say. Okay. Because this is terrible. I'm gonna drop a number. One out of ten experience for a girl include sexual abuse. Really? Really. I had like a lot of guests and it's always the same story. And it's like, it's, you literally got the full story already. Mm -hmm. What I told you, the story I just told you before, it's literally what happens in like most of the case. Where the drunk guy did something wrong. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, and it can be really uncomfortable because you are at this place and you don't know what to do, right? I'm saying not being raped. I'm saying like the 10 steps before. Oh, well, okay. I, it's it's not necessarily until penetration, but it's like the guy is drunk. Okay. There is just two beds in the room. Uh, the, 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 the bed is really close to the other bed. Mm. And the girl is with his friend in the bed and, and the guy is alone in his bed. And the, the, the beds are all together. And at some point, the girl is saying to his friends, I think he's touching my legs. Can you imagine that? That you're, you're, you're in the middle of the night. Yes, and I can imagine. Yes. And some, someone is yes. touching your leg. Yes, yes. But it's like, it's good that you are with the friend. So you're yeah, not yeah, alone. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. if you're alone, this is creepy, you know? But well, like it's, it's, no, no, trust me. It's creepy even when you're two. In both cases, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, because it happened to me to, it didn't go my, uh, never like too extreme. But it's like, it happens like the guy's tries, you know? Like, let's say, do you prefer uh, to mm. sleep on the couch or in my bed, you know? Like, straight question, you know? And then it, it puts me a bit in an uncomfortable situation. Because what do you mean in your bed? Like, and they try to like, um, you know, uh, oh, you know, because it's more comfortable, it's bigger. But this is the, the moment when you say, no, I prefer couch, you know? Yeah, but then you should leave a bad reference to those people, like right away. You think so? Only after the question? Okay, there is a report on couch surfing. Mm-hmm. There is a rule on couch surfing that couch surfing is not a de- dating app. I so know. if you're using in order to get laid... That's dangerous stuff. I know, I know. You have to use it in a way that you will meet people. That's that's it. For me, the way I, I do it is like I host mostly people with no reference. Oh, really? Why? Yeah, because they don't have experiences. Okay, to make like first nice impression. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's good. And as a guest, when I travel, I go 80% female host. Because with male hosts, it's really, really complicated to get accepted. Oh, really? Even that they see how many references you have. Like you are, you have, you have them so many that it's clear what is the purpose of for you using the couch surfing. It's part of your lifestyle. So I don't know if you are looking in some city, the host, yeah, and you see somebody has as well one hundred or something references. Yeah. you know that you have some some bond already, some connection. So I, I guess would, it shouldn't be so difficult. I kind of gave up on trying that. Okay. But just when I was traveling with my dad, mm-hmm. because then I was not that guy that is traveling alone. Okay. I think that guys don't like to host the guy that is traveling alone. Actually, what happens to me is that uh, in Napoli, I was supposed to be hosted by a guy. Mm-hmm. And then he asked me, oh, by the way, I'm gay. Is it a problem with you? And I say, I'm not, but it's no problem with me. And then in the evening, he cancelled. Ah. Yeah. And do you think he cancelled because you're not gay? Yeah. In Italy, I was sending lots of requests to both gender. Mm -hmm. And I had no, no replies from guys at all. And then you can see on the profile, you can see the red flags. Mm-hmm. That's that's where really I learn how to identify the people that are doing it for genuine reason yes, of yes, interaction yes. and the people that are doing it in order to have sexual intercourse. Mm-hmm. But you can even like already see it how people describe themselves in the profile. Like if there is not many information or what kind of information they put, you kind of see it what they are looking yeah, for. Yeah, uh, that's surfing. that's. T- so do you want to go through all the red flags? What do you mean? Like all the, the, the different stuff that allows to identify the bad okay, people. Okay, go, go. Because I don't even know where it's, you said like there is a section where you can report people, yeah. right? You you put like fake profile, 
like uh, oh, sexual yeah, harassment, okay, okay. like oh, what else? Uh, report uh, dating app using like a dating app. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so you, let's do that list. Let's do that. Okay, uh, that's that's important. That's, <laughs> okay, yes. that's something really important because I think that what I'm saying right now could uh, literally save a lot of people from bad situation. Mm. So when you are doing cold surfing, you're always sending a request to someone. Yes. That's that's how it works. I sent you a request. Can I stay at your place from there to there? Like then you have the number of people that are with you, and then the text is open. Mm-hmm. So it means that everything you know about the person that you're sending the request to is the profile. Yes. And the message. And the message. That's true. Mm -hmm. And after the message, Mm -hmm. we're going to get through the entire process. Okay. Let's start by the profile. Yes. The first red flags in the references, the number of references, the quality of the references, the number of bad review. Okay. Someone that has only references from girl, you run away. Okay. That's the first red flag yes, ever. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. It's a guy that's going to try. He's going to try. Those people are not necessarily what is considered sexual predators, but they're really considered as what it's called player. Okay. They're going to play with. They're going to mess up with your brain. I met some players. Yes. I met some people that were bragging about doing cult surfing. Because they were able to get something from a girl, and to, I don't want to go into okay, details. Okay, you see, but... okay, you see, you you have a um, different point of view because you have different source of information. Okay? Yeah, I can only speak about my experience, yeah. which is from mostly from the um, and the um, guest. Yeah. And what I've met, like what what I've seen being a guest. <laughs> I had one friend that was doing it too for girls. And then I introduced couch surfing to another friend that did it to fuck girls as well. He was actually mad at himself when he wasn't having a result with a girl. Why? Because he was like, why it didn't work? But do you think the deal was clear from the beginning? Like the girls knew it that he was uh, expecting something or no? He was just that really tall and in shape guy Mm -hmm. and he was literally just staying in the corner and waiting for the girls to make her move and the girls were making their moves yeah so it means they wanted so so it's okay yeah but do it do it do it on tinder do it on tinder yes you don't do cult surfing to fuck you're doing it to meet people as long as people are continuously doing that they're gonna be raped because okay. there are going to be some signals that are... Okay, misunderstanding and yeah. so on. I get it. Okay, okay. Because, anyway, the references. If he only has ge- references from girls, mm-hmm. if he had bad references, and most of the time the bad references are explicit about the reason why they didn't yes. stay at that place. The second red flag, the f- pictures, the profile picture. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm I'm gonna make the list of all the oh, okay. the, the the stuff because there are many combinations. Okay. The guy is always alone on the picture. Sure. And naked. That might be worrying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And if he if he has a knife, <laughs> also <laughs> maybe. Okay, so uh, the guy is always alone on the picture. Mm-hmm. There is a picture of him where he is topless. Mm-hmm. And that I'm talking about any context. Even on the beach. Even on the beach. The guy that was a player mm-hmm. told it to me ah. that you want to expose the girl to your body that she get comfortable with the idea of it. Oh my God, this is creepy. Like how deep is the thought? Well, you never <laughs> thought about it. No. So uh, then there is... One out of those, it's always alone. Mm-hmm. But there is one picture where he's carrying an animal. What? Like if he's carrying a cat, you he know. Is? If there is only picture of him and he's carrying his cat. Or if he's walking his dog. Uh-huh. That's like big red flag. And the last one is like, there is one out of the profile picture where he's carrying a kid. Or holding the end of a what? kid. What? Because all that is, and I know it from a player, that it just to make mental projection of some cuteness. Like, it's all a game. Still in the profile, so okay. for the uh, third red flag, the description 
Mm-hmm. And more precisely, the description of the apartment or of the place to live. Okay. First of all, on the page, so if we check at the, the configuration of the page on, on, on Couch yes. thing, mm-hmm. first it start with the picture, the reference, uh, the description here, the keywords. Oh, yes. in the keywords, what it's called? Uh, nudism. Yes. Red flags. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And there, there are a lot of them. Really? There is a lot of them. I haven't seen any. So yeah, there are some tags that are like okay. obviously red. Then in the description, if he's making some reference to the fact that he's uh, single in his next okay. room. Everything that makes makes think that the guy is available. Okay. Okay, and then we get through the hosting part. Yes. So first, you have how many surfers you can host. Mm-hmm. If he can just host one person, check the profile in details why it's just one. Okay. I prefer to host, and then he can choose a gender. If you choose woman, run away. Okay. It's like red flag. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, way to host. So there is bedroom, separated bedroom, then living room, then shared room. And there's even and shared then, bed or not? Uh, no, shared mm-hmm. space. Yeah, shared. No, but I know like even some girls um, was writing as a host yeah. that uh, if you come with me, I just come on bed. Uh, so the thing is that it's in the shared space. Okay category so yeah then uh you have a small description of how you will host and if you have flatmates and what you can offer your guest mm-hmm. and that you get to read that because sometimes it has a, a precise description mm-hmm. that this guy has just one bed yes. and that uh it's good because it uh whatever <laughs> 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 let me puke <laughs> okay, okay. You check that there are, there are no any of those red flags yes and then you send a request. Yes. When you send a request, you have a, a reply. Yes. And already in a reply, we are like creating an, an interaction. Yes. In the replies, there are some replies that it's like clearly freaky. Yes. Especially when you're a girl that is posting a public trip. I never did that. Okay. Okay. But like in the request, you can already uh-huh. identify... The bad stuff. Even the guy seems... He really, really has a nice profile. There is no red flags on his profile and everything. But then it's say, Oh, uh, my couch is broken. So would it be okay if we would share the same bed? You know, it happened to me. And it was in Italy. I was looking for couch surfer. Uh, yeah. For the host. And one guy, his profile was fine. Everything yeah. was fine. And I booked the date, let's say, you know, when I would come. And we started to write on WhatsApp. Okay. Because it's more comfortable. And then I think one of his first messages, it was so cheesy about the massage. So it's like, as you said, you know, even if you don't get the information from the profile directly, yeah, you can get it when you start to write with that person and you can um, imagine the, um, how do you call it, the expectation. Mm-hmm. What, what, what are the expectations? So um, basically... Uh, uh... It's like after the the message, there Mm -hmm. is the social media interaction. For now, the red flags are divided in like four categories. Reference, profile picture, description, and then um, uh, messages, and now the interactions. Yes. Okay, the guy on his text is like really controlling. He tells you what to do and how to do it. Like, give me an example, because how you can... Like, you can't stay at my place when I'm not here. And I tell you when you come home... And when you get to go and you get to be at that moment here mm-hmm. and here and there and there and you have to leave at that time in the morning and you will do that because uh, you don't want to have problems with me. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't stay at place at his place. Yeah, it's actually controlling personality type mm-hmm. and those people can be the worst sexual mm-hmm. predator. Uh, it's a sign of people that has uh, unbalance in trust mm-hmm. and that compensate that by violence yeah and it can be mental violence by you know controlling telling you what to do and when to do it and the way you get to do it until you're just a a shit you're just a mess because Mm -hmm. it's gonna mess with you until it destroys you or if it doesn't get what he wants yes he's gonna go physical and those guys they are going for rape when we are going into this topic so deep it's it's like i don't know how you're describing it i didn't even think about this like about couch surfing in these terms. I was taking this very easy. 
So there is that controlling stuff. Or if the guy, and once again, real life experience, okay. is mentioning that he's single. <laughs> yes. You don't want to know that information. Yes. When you start to yeah. write with yeah. that person. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to know that information. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Because I it's know. clearly sending a signal. Yes, that's true. Mm-hmm. Then they are like, uh, the guy, he says, like, he covers you with an appropriate compliment. You know what I mean? Like what? Wow, you're so beautiful and you're like the most beautiful and, you like know. Like exaggerating a lot. Yes. With the compliments. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. In a way that he wants to create. No, that creates just awkwardness. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Let's make a summary of the red flag. So... First red flag, the number of reference, it's not like a de- discriminatory red flags, mm-hmm. but you get to make sure that the profile is totally complete, that there is a lot of information that the guy, like all the rest get to be totally clean. Yes. Okay. If the guy is also verified, that's like super important because then I it never be- check that. You should. Then bad reference. That's like you read the reference yes. in the story. Then the one line reference. You experience this yourself. You know, like, it was a good experience. You check if the references are only from girls, because then it means that, you know. Then the second thing is the picture. On the picture, you check if it's only picture of himself. It's about red flags. If there is picture of him in chest, if there is one picture completely staged with animals or kids. But just one picture out of all the picture where he's alone. Yes. Then uh, in the description... If there is some creepy hashtag, if there is some creepy description, mm-hmm. if there is in the location description some hints that he prefers to host women, he can only host one person. It's a shared space. Most of the time means it's a sh- shared bed. And then you will check in the other description of the location. Sometimes you will say, uh, I'm hosting someone just for one day or maybe more if we get along good together. Ah, oh, this is creepy. Yeah, but that happens way more than you oh, think. Okay. Then you send the request. Already when the reply says on quote something, you can already see. Or after that, you can see through the social media. And then you can see it on Facebook or WhatsApp or Instagram, you know. Like uh, if you have him on Facebook and that he has no friends, that he has no picture. Yes. Uh, well, you can already uh, usually identify that already on on code surfing. Oh, actually, one 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 more thing is that he has no social media. Mm-hmm. You run away. Mm-hmm. If some if someone gives me only his WhatsApp, I don't go with that person. Okay. Because it means that there is some exposure that is not willing to have. Mm-hmm. So it means that there is high chances that he's trying to hide something. Yes. So it's always a question of, is there some other red flags or is the only one red flag that I see that I'm able Mm -hmm, to identify? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So on the social interaction, it's any mention that he's single, which means what it means. Any mentions that is really controlling because it can be dangerous. Any mention that there is like over-exaggerating seduction process. Mm-hmm. You can feel that. Yes. That's that's the list. That's the list. Well, I think it's going to be it. Well, we covered actually some nice ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's interesting. It's like a deep dive in coach surfing yes so on the next episode we will talk about all the great things <laughs> with coach surfing uh we will talk about why that podcast was created because it was because of that coach surfing and then we will talk of like your life experience mm. and like the best things that happen in your life and that's gonna be fucking amazing so uh thank you sandra <laughs> and uh thank you everyone for listening to us uh, don't forget to comment to like to follow to ask questions, to say that you like it, that you hate it. Just uh, there is an Instagram, there is SoundCloud, there is YouTube and there is Facebook. So uh, thanks everyone and see you next time. Thanks for listening. Comment and check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, Facebook and Instagram. See you next time. Yes, because, uh, yes, I think it was November. Maybe. Okay, never mind. So, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no...
But uh, still, you stayed eight years, so there was like. Well, that's the the thing. I didn't quit on a you know a sudden thought. You know, mm-hmm. I, I I I didn't quit like without thinking about tomorrow. I didn't quit like oh, it's just like a one second idea. Yes. And I'm, no, I spent eight years there, which means that it was like a chapter of my life. Okay. It has a start. It has a development and it has an ending. (laughs) It's like, okay, that chapter of my life is done. So I'm not American. Uh, I think that uh, there is like that major difference of mindset, which like basically means the European, I guess, are more about uh, enjoying life Mm -hmm. by doing things uh, out of work. And the Americans are more like capitalistic in a way that you earn money by your work, by doing hard work, and you get rewarded for that. And that reward is money. And you turn that money to something that's going to make you happier. Mm-hmm. That's something that okay. I, I don't agree with that. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a mindset that I, I'm not cool with that. And when, when, when you live in, in, in Canada, when you live in America, on, in North America, it's something that you have to live all the time because it's there. That, there is that, that, that mentality which is not, I would say, less socialist. Mm-hmm. You know, that it's like, basically, you live to work. Okay. Because when you work, you make money. Because when you make money, you buy happiness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I was with, uh, with uh, another ex-girlfriend there. <laughs> uh, she was visiting me there. So, but right, I sent okay. like all the 10. I, no, before it was different. There oh, was yeah. no limit of, uh, yeah, of requests you could send. In 2015, there was no limit. Yes, yes. People are cool. and I did the Poland Rock Festival. Uh, that, all, that Woodstock Festival. Oh, yes. I, I, I uh, well, no. God damn it. Ro, 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 that quad, quadricolor, penta, pentacolor, penta, pentaconix, pentatonix. Is it Bluetooth that's written? Yes. No, oh. I don't know. It's BT, <laughs> so it's Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I don't know. It's BT. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> uh, which one of the Assassin's Creed? I don't know. Like a few years ago. <laughs> Like was, maybe, it, was it like in maybe, Italy? Uh, no. Ah, uh, yes. It was in Italy. Maybe. Yes, I think no. so. It was in France? No. So there I is think in London? A... Yes. There is in Italy? There is in uh, America? I think it was Italy. Atos. Yala. Yala. Atos. <laughs> He's tired. Um, okay, so, uh, the, 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 I lost the flow, fuck. What was I talking about before the question? Uh, no, it was about your couchsurfing experience. Yeah, it's the, the, I, f- I feel like, uh, yeah. like, <laughs> how you call the guy who is, who's making the... You feel like the interviewer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, what I'm, what I'm thinking about is, okay, so I'm back to it. All right. Mm-hmm. Ah. Ah, wait. Okay. We danced. No. We did. No, we didn't. We did. You don't remember? We this did? is what I'm laughing because we did dance. Because, like, now. So, so what do you, you, so, because I, I'm not getting when you're... So, I'm getting there. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, I see, I see that you look a bit confused. <laughs> yes, because I don't get it where, where it's going. So, um, well, well, they're gonna... <laughs> you're like, uh, talking like, um, some psycho, I don't know, psycho person. I have two bad references. Really? One because I was talking too much. Really? And one because oh it was a nice evening that we shared with Antoine. <laughs> and I was like And this is bad reference? <laughs> yes. Why? I don't know. But it's but it's why? I didn't get I don't it. know. People decided to put bad reference. 
I just uh, like uh, to, uh, but, check the box, right? Yeah, exactly. But then put a comment. A that, positive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's um, man. I, 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 yeah, the guy is creepy. He has like sixty-seven yeah. references. And you oh would, my god! And I you, would say. Oh. And you would see some of his bad reference. Are like, and they're really bad. Ah, oh, like ooh. <laughs> They're like, oh, gross, gross, gross. Okay. How many experience you have? I had maybe like around 18. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. And usually they prepare you to that. I never had it because I chose not to. My ex had it, but it was because it was summer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. I was in the bed and I was still sleeping. She went to pee and when she came back, she woke me up and she was like, what one? <laughs> I saw <him> naked. <laughs> the guy was yes. naked. And I was like, did he touch you? He was like, no, no, he was just naked. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, anyway. Mm. Um, yes. Uh, anything that is creepy related, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Ah, yes, yes, that's, yes. That's terrible. Or I have another one, which happened to me. I was actually quite uh, desperate. Yeah. Uh, because I needed to find a host in short time. Okay. So um, I sent a few requests. Yeah. And I sent requests to a guy which I had doubts. And I will tell you why I had doubts. Okay. Because on the profile, all the comments, uh, all the references were, re- were related to the apartment, not to the guy by itself. So it was, yes, he has a nice apartment. That's it. You know? Ah, yes, it's in the center location. It's amazing. And th- there was not much about the host, you know? So it yeah. was very like, mm, <laughs> uh, it's not. But I was so desperate. So I was like, but that's a red flag. That's I know, I know. Red flag. I know, but I'm, I was like, okay, we'll see, you know? Mm-hmm. So I send it. He accepted that. And even on the profile, like this description of of himself, how he described himself, it was written, I have amazing apartment. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, oh my God. And you know uh, what uh, references I left? Really nice apartment. <laughs> no, because the guy was creepy? Yes. Yes, yes. And you left a good reference? No, I just left like a honest reference because I appreciate that people still... Like, I don't want to be not, um, how you call it? Um, people are different, okay? So, um, for me, it's already a plus if people, if person wants to share their space. Yeah. It's a gesture that shows that this person, it's, it's kind of kind, you know? Good heart, you know? It's already yeah. a favor who is, uh, which is making somebody to you, you know? Mm-hmm. So, it's a plus from the beginning for me. And and for me, I stayed only one night, you know? And after yeah. one night, I evacuate. But um, um, he was close to person. This is one guy who offered me, like, do you want to sleep on the couch or in my bed, you know? And you left uh, him a good reference. Because, oh! because you know, he didn't, he didn't do nothing to me, okay? okay? It was just uncomfortable question. He was strange. This is the fact. He was strange. That's it, you know? Um, but still, I cannot judge a person just because of this question, you know? People are different, okay? okay. Um, I didn't feel comfortable with him. Like, okay. it was hard to me to make conversation and so on. But still, people have different sense of humor. People are, um, like, are different, as I said, you know? So I cannot judge a person, like, that was negative experience or so on. I just didn't feel comfortable, and, and that's it. So I didn't leave negative um, reference because he didn't do anything. Well, do you think that if that person, that same person was drunk, mm-hmm. that would have been more dangerous? I actually, what I did, because when I arrived, uh, it was like, you know, the atmosphere was like heavy, you know? So I said, and I brought a bottle of wine. So I said, oh, just let's drink this wine, you know? <laughs> Because because it was he was so quiet, you know, and um, the the conversation didn't flow yeah. at all. So I was just let's just have this wine, whatever, you know. 
So it was me who put the battle of the wine on the table, you know? You're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm, but I was like, okay, just, just fuck it, you know? Let's just, maybe, maybe the conversation will, will flow yeah, smoothly, yeah. you know? It didn't. But but it was drunk <laughs> and touchy and no, curvy no, no. and skizzy and pervy. No no no, he was just it, that was just this one question which made me like a bit uncomfortable. But it was at the end of the evening when uh, you know already he want he was going to bed, you know. Okay. So it's okay, and and then then I just uh, didn't come back. That's it, you know. Yeah. And so, so I didn't let the, and you see, when I choose that person, I knew it, I knew it where I, where I was going I to. I you know? knew it. <laughs> because you can see if the old references are related to apartment, even if his description is related to his apartment, yeah. not like, I like flowers, I like butterflies, <laughs> you know, just, I have really nice apartment. So it's like, but I, I will give a chance, you know, maybe... No, I don't know what I was thinking. I was just, I think I was just like, okay, okay, let's, let's, let's check it, you know? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, I, sometimes, sometimes I'm, I'm really uh, silly, you know? But, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's not, I mean, I mean and you, you know were younger. It? it was like one month ago, you know? <laughs> Or maybe two, okay? So not much younger, I would say. I, but I needed, I needed this, so. When, where, where was it? I don't want to say city. Close here. The country was close uh, to Belgium. So you were in Luxembourg. I will not tell you where I was. <laughs> well, why you wouldn't? I, I will, because I don't want, uh, maybe that person would be uh, set to hear that. This podcast. Oh, <laughs> oh, you know? oh! Wow. Mm. Oh, what? What? Well, no. Where, when? It, where is it? Ah, uh, you don't know that person. It's no, but I mean, I mean, I mean, you. Sh why? Why should you be afraid of that? I'm not afraid. Just it's um because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. You know, like the the. Um, well, um, you can hear that and be like, oh. Maybe I should change my profile. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe, not, not offer my bed. Maybe I should go to a therapy or something like that. No. Maybe I should, you know, try to change some stuff in my life because I'm taking this bad decision so so far. <laughs>